Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, we are discussing a drug which is adenosine. So, coming to adenosine, adenosine is a drug classification, it is class 5 antiarrhythmic drug. And mechanism of action of adenosine is, it will bind to the adenosine receptors in the heart and it will cause uh, a flux of the potassium ion and it will uh, inhibit the influx of the calcium ion. So, it will cause hyperpolarization of the cardiac cell. So, eventually, uh, it will slow the conduction through the AV node and it will inhibit the re-entry pathway and it will restore the normal sinus rhythm. So, basically, uh, adenosine is a class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs. So, uh, coming to the uh, uh, uses, uh, most commonly adenosine we use in emergency is in paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. In paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, the patient which are hemodynamically stable patient and who do not uh, recovered by giving vagal maneuver in that kind of patients we will use adenosine. So, in PSVT with hemodynamically unstable patient the treatment of choice we also know we already know that is cardioversion. So, adenosine we use in patients with PSVT who are hemodynamically stable and who are do not restored by giving vagal maneuver. Okay, and other off-label uses, it will use as a pharmacological cardiac stress test also. So, mainly we are discussing here with PSVT. Coming to the pharmacokinetics of adenosine, uh, adenosine it is a rapidly action drug and duration of action is very brief action and half-life is less than 10 seconds. So, it is a rapidly acting drug uh, is adenosine. And coming to the route of administration is, IV route is the route of administration, mainly we can give IV route and also we can give a ET tube also. And coming to the dosage, in supraventral tachycardia, coming to the dosage, it is an adult, uh, we can give initial first dose is 6 mg uh, IV bolus we can give. And site of the uh, uh, dose, uh, location of the injection we can give, normally we will prefer to take uh, nearest to the heart. So, uh, we will choose the brachial vein of the left upper limb because of the pharmacokinetics, because it is a very rapidly acting and half-life is less than 10 seconds. So, we will choose uh, a site which is more nearer to heart. So, we will select uh, left upper limb uh, and we will put a uh, cannula over the brachial vein and connect a three-way connector. Uh, why three-way connector? Because uh, through one way, uh, we can insert the adenosine which is initial dose is 6 mg and the other way we can take 20 ml normal sodium flush. So, one person will give adenosine 6 mg, other person simultaneously give 20 ml flush along with lift the left upper lip and wait for 1 to 2 minutes. If the rhythm is uh, restoring to normal sinus rhythm, then it is ok. If the rhythm is not restoring to normal sinus rhythm, then double the dose. Second dose is double the dose that is uh, 12 mg IV bolus you can give. And again, if the rhythm is not reverting back to normal sinus rhythm, we can again go on with 12 mg or 18 mg. In pediatrics, IV is the root of drug, we can give 0.1 mg per kg. Uh, if the, we can wait for 1 to 2 minutes and the rhythm is not reverting back to normal sinus rhythm, we can give second dose is 0.2 mg per kg IV bolus. Okay. If the patient who have uh, in central line, then half the dose we can give. Initially for 6 mg, we can give uh, 3 mg, then 6 mg, uh, then 9 mg. Okay, these are the uh, dosage and the route of administration. Okay, then coming to the precautions. While giving adenosine, we will get ready with the uh, crash card and we will connect the patient to uh, continuous cardiac ECG monitoring. Uh, and also, uh, we will do with precaution in like in patients with obstructive airway disease like asthma and COPD. Uh, and also, adjust the dose in uh, patient in case of renal and hepatic impairment. These are the precautions. And coming to the contraindications, uh, it will uh, contraindicated in patients within second degree or third degree heart block, and also patient with known case of sick sinus syndrome and relative contraindicated in patient with obstructive airway disease and also a contraindicated in seizure potential patients. And the adverse effects of adenosine in uh, CVS it causes bradycardia 
arrhythmia, hypotension, uh, palpitation, chest pain. In respiratory system, it will cause bronchospasm and dyspnea. Uh, in CNS, it causes headache, dizziness, and nausea and facial flushing. So, these are all about uh, drug adenosine. Uh, okay, mainly we use it in uh, proximal supplemental tachycardia in emergency. Uh, the main thing is, first of all, we initially try with vagal maneuver, uh, uh, then carotid massage after rolling out any carotid brewy uh, in patients who are immunologically stable. If the patient is not immunologically stable, then the treatment of choice is cardioversion. Okay, okay, thank you.